Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to auto-mount drives in Linux. Now, there may be a wide variety of reasons you want to do this. For me, the example I'm going to be using in this video is the backup drive I have in my system. I like to automatically mount it because I have time shift running and I don't want it to be unmounted and cause an issue down the road. So I set it up to automatically mount. And you can see it's right here. You see that little icon. That means that it is not mounted. I just rebooted my system to ensure this. And you can always mount your drives by just opening up the actual drive. You can see it mounted it. And we can right click to unmount. So the purpose of this video is to automate this. So getting right into it, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and set up the actual mounting directory, get some of the drive information, particularly the UUID, and then we're going to go ahead and edit the fstab folder down the road. So first we're going to want to actually make the directory. Now on my system I already have the directory because I made it a little bit ago because I've already done this. So this is the directory that I will be mounting all my drives. But to make this directory all you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up your terminal just like so. And then we're going to type the make directory command. So sudo mkdir for make directory and then in the actual location that you'd like it mounted. Now it's common practice to mount it into a media directory in root. Uh, you could technically mount it wherever but I prefer to keep it this way because this is how uh, Linux is designed to do it. So media and then the actual name of the drive or backup or whatever you want your folder to be. In my example it is going to be backup. So you do that, type enter and it's not going to do it because it already exists, but that's what you're going to want to do to start out is actually make that directory you're going to be mounting it to. Next, we're going to go ahead and get some of the drive information. So you can see over here it is the uh, backup drive. So if I click on that, there's multiple ways to get this information. You could either um, go to properties. So here you can see the actual mounted from dev sdb1. So you could just get it there and then skip a command or you could even go into something like disks and go to the disk management and media. If we go to this one right here, you can see the SDB1, SDB1, this is the drive. You could pull the UUID from here and this is really all the information so you could just pull it from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to see this in the terminal as well if you prefer to use that. So we have our terminal here and what we're going to do is show you a couple commands to get the same information. So if you do sudo fdisk-l, it will list all the partitions on your system. So this is where you can pull the uh, mounted from. So the one we're going to be messing with here is this device. You could see it's, uh, no, it's not that device. It's going to be this device right here, the SDB1. And it gives you some information on the drive. You can see uh, the bytes, the name of it, the size available. So that's one way to see your partition data. But the command that is most important is sudo blkid. And what that's going to do is it's going to open up the drive information and the UUID. And this is going to be what we need. I have labels on all my drives, so that makes it even easier. So if you do reformat your drives, I would recommend adding a label that you can easily identify. But we can see here, this is the backup drive. We match it up with the SDB1. So we are all good to go here. So I'm gonna copy this UUID, copy. And then what we're gonna do is edit the fstab folder. Now you need to be really careful when editing this folder because this is how your system reads your boot drive as well. So you don't want to mess around with anything other than adding information. So we're going to go sudo nano. Nano is a text editor that's built into terminal. It works great for quick edits like this. Uh, type etc slash an s stab. Just like that. Hit enter and we see here this is the f stab, the static file system information. And um, right here is our boot partition. And then right below this, this is our main uh, home directory root partition. So what we're going to want to do is add an entry. So this is all controlled with the keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and tab, tab on down, go to the very end of this, and then go down. And then from here, I'm actually going to add a note so I can easily identify what this is. 
So we're gonna type something like um, a hashtag or number pound, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna call this backup, and then I'm gonna do the actual mounting point. So for this, it's slash dev sdb1, I believe. sdb1, yep, sdb1, so I know what drive it is. And now here is when it gets fun. You're gonna do that UUID equals, and then paste in that UUID you copied earlier. So paste that in. And now don't hit space here. You're gonna just wanna hit tab once. And then here is that mount point you created earlier. So just do slash media slash backup or whatever you called your file. And it is case sensitive, so do be careful on that. Don't. Um, mess that up because Linux can actually recognize uh, case sensitivity within its file systems. And then we're going to hit the tab. You can see here this is kind of a key. It goes the file system, which is this, the mount point, which is here, the type. So we're going to want to get our file system type. You could pull this from the terminal, but I just have it right here. It is the Linux file system or the ext4. So I go ahead and type ext4. You're going to want to hit tab again. And for this, I'm gonna go with defaults. Now, if you're curious on what this is, I will have a link in the description to some more details. It's basically a profile of how this is gonna work. With the defaults profile, it's part of it is the auto mounting and uh, it has all the read write privileges that you're gonna want. Hit tab again, go with zero, tab again, zero. And like I said, there'll be a link in the description letting you know what this is, but this is basically the dump or backup utility. It's a zero or one, whether or not if you want to use that. And this one's FSCK, which is a, um, in simplest terms, it's kind of like error checking. So I set that to off for this drive. But as that is, it should have no issues. And what we're going to do now is save this. And just as another, I'm going to say it again, don't mess with any of this. You will make it so you can't boot into your system and then you'll have to go get a live disk and get into it, fix it, all that fun stuff. So to save it, you can see right here, right out. So it's just control and zero. And then you're gonna wanna make sure it's the ETCF stab, hit enter, and you should be good to go. So if I go control, I think it's X for exit, we are now exited to the terminal. So now what we're going to do is run a quick command to make sure that it mounted properly and that is just sudo mount dash a just like that and if we go in here it should be mounted so actually I'm going to unmount it real quick run this command one more time I'll just do sudo mount m o u n t dash a hit enter and this drive is mounted. So you see it didn't bring up any issues, it should be okay. If you really want to double check, you could go ahead and go to your root directory, go into your etc folder, and then find that fstab file right here. Double click on that, and then you can see that this has been added. So we're gonna close this out, and that's really about it. I tested it through the command, but you could go ahead and reboot your system to make sure it worked that way. And that is how you mount your hard disks, SSDs. Um, you could even do this with USBs, SD cards, whatever you want in Linux. I hope this has helped you out in some sort of way. I have tons of great Linux content. You could check it out right there. It's a whole playlist of everything you're gonna wanna know. Comment rate if this has helped you out. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Have a great day and goodbye. Auto mount your hard drives or disks in Windows. Jesus. Ah, not Windows.